guys, this is Greg Doyle for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. It is prediction time. The fight I want to talk to you guys about takes place Saturday, the 3rd of December. It is for the WBC Super Flyweight World Title and it is between Juan Francisco Estrada, who is 43 and 3, and he takes on Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, who is 51 and 3. Guys, first of all, just want to say thank you so much for coming back and tuning into another video. In these videos, as always, I will give you a brief background into both fighters. I will give you my keys to victory. And finally, I will give you my prediction. Okay, so let's start off with Juan Estrada. Very good fighter, Juan Estrada. Holds victories over um, fighters like Wakasil Wangek, who um, holds two wins over Chocolatito. He lost one of the fights to uh, Wangek and won the rematch, uh, I believe. Some very good fighters on his um, resume, like Carlos Quadras. Very good two-weight world champion is Estrada. And with this being the third time him and Chocolatito have fought, I'm very interested to see what he decides to bring to the table on uh, the 3rd of December. Chocolatito Gonzalez really needs no introduction um, either. Three weight world champion, light flyweight, flyweight, super flyweight, hold really good victories over fighters like um, Cal Yafai. Um, he's established everything that anyone could ever um, hope to establish in boxing. Um, those world titles and all those different weights, as I said, he holds a victory over Estrada. Estrada has won the rematch by a split decision in what was a very close fight, and you know. The win that he had recently over um, Julio Cesar Martinez, that's a fantastic win. And one that I don't think has maybe been spoke about enough because Martinez um, was one of these fighters that a lot of people expected big things from. So, yeah, um, great fighter is Chocolatito. Really looking forward to seeing him back on the 3rd of December. Guys, if I can go over and on to Keys to Victory. Keys to Victory for me for Estrada. I think he needs to force the pace with Chocolatito. He had some success in the first two fights in doing so. If he can force the pace and make 35-year-old um, Chocolatito work hard throughout the fight, land shots to the body, I believe that he has a chance of wearing down Chocolatito as great fighters that they can't go on forever. Keys to victory for Chocolatito, almost basically the opposite of what I've said there about Estrada. I think Chocolatito needs to box. Um, boxing combinations and move I think that he needs to work on countering Estrada when he's coming in so that he can begin to make Estrada overthink about his attacks if he can do that, build up a lead in the first half of the fight I think he stands a very very good chance at winning this fight guys if I can move over and on to my final prediction very good fight, very difficult to call when you've got two fighters that have fought each other twice already Chocolatito winning the first one a few years ago. Um, Estrada winning the second by split decision. Normally you say that rematches go the same way, but these guys actually hold victories over each other um, already, so it's a very difficult fight. I think when I look back at Chocolatito when he had those two losses back-to-back to, -back to Langek, I think he's a different fighter now. I think he's had to find himself a little bit more as his careers went on. Estrada is always going to be a very good, difficult fighter. Um, I can see this one going right down to the wire. I think it's going to be extremely close again. I just think that this time, with the last fight being so close, I think Chocolatito might just edge this one. It's a very difficult fight to predict because normally the most recent fight, if they're close together, I normally see rematches going the same way. But I think with how close the fight was and... Chocolatito gaining a lot of confidence from the Martinez win. I think that he will find a way and very, very narrowly um, outpoint Estrada. I think it's a fight that is almost going to go all the way, if not the full way. And yeah, I think my final prediction on this one is for Chocolatito to gain revenge on a very tight points decision. Greg Doyle, Eat Sleep Box and Repeat. Please check out all of our social platforms. I'll be, speak to you guys, I'll be back to speak to you guys again soon. Take care and thank you.